Unfortunately, what you're about to hear is real. The members of this radio program are simply not that bright. Or what some people would call educated. They are merely stupid. They're not trying to offend anyone on purpose. And all have played doctors on TV. You have been warned and are cordially invited to join the party. This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Get, 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 get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off the kicks, Bill. The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones, all gathered in secrecy and flying high as a kite. This is the men's room with Miles and Thrill. You know what they say, shake your radio more than three times, and you're playing with it. You're listening to The Men's Room. Wow! And away we go, welcome to show number 2,807. Along with Steve the Throw Hill. The Ted Smith. Woo! Fox. Uh. And my cock. Montgomery! In the men's room. On tap today, welcome to day three of Weed Week. Weed Week. Weed Week. That's Weed Week. Weed Week. Weed Week. Return of Who Sucks Less. What you don't need to know gets obscure. Get ready to play Profile This. Plus headlines, the men's room shout of the day, fun with listener emails, and everyone's favorites, TV time with Tim. Click, clack, drink it, drunk. All right, here we go. Cincinnati authorities looking for the person who stole a butterfly from the zoo. Seriously. California, where town is invaded by tumbleweeds, and there's absolutely nothing the residents can do. Italian company comes up with a more uncomfortable way to fit more people on a plane. An airline loses mother's prosthetic leg during flight, which is somewhat insane. And $3,000 worth of weed ended up being broccoli. That is all coming on today's very special episode of The Men's Room. And now, here's the question. Hola, bitches. Good day to you and yours. All right, there's a guy in Florida. He was busted for drunk driving while in his underwear. And let's face it, that's not really news. But what made his situation a little more memorable was the fact that the underwear he was wearing read, and I quote, Drunk, free breathalyzer test, blow here. (laughs) And as you'd expect from any 54-year-old man in novelty boxers, (laughs) he was arrested for DO. He's 54 years old. That's his name. Because, look, sometimes what you did is less memorable I like that. than what you were wearing when you did it. I might buy that. You're killing me, Ted. <laughs> For example, a guy in Florida a guy in Florida tried to burn down his ex-girlfriend's house with ragu pasta sauce. What makes his story a little bit more ridiculous is the fact that he was dressed up like a bull at the time that he was doing it. There's the guy in Georgia. He robbed the store in disguise. Keep in mind, his disguise, he took the uh, plastic wrap from around the case of bottled water, wrapped it around his face, and then said, good enough, I'm done. You're not going to believe this. The cops caught him, too. It didn't work. But we go to Arizona. In this case, it's a situation where uh, the clothes you wore actually helped you out. There was a guy. He had 37 tickets because he kept blowing through the speed trap. They had his car in the photograph each and every time. They had his license plate number. He went to court and said, listen, that is, in fact, a picture of my car. You cannot prove it was me. Because when you look in the driver's seat, he was wearing a gorilla mask. I know what you're thinking. And, yes, the judge knew it was him, but they could not prove it was him, and he got out of all the tickets. Look, it's just one of those things that sometimes the only reason you have a memory of a situation is very specifically... Because of either what you were wearing or what someone else was wearing at the time. So that's what today's question is. It's a men's room fill in a blank. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. Before the big show, call 844-999. Ola, you can like the men's room on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Men's Room Live. And send those emails to the men's room at mensroomlive.com. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. Ola, bitches. You're listening to the men's room. Oh, but you and away we go. Welcome to show number 2,807. What a large and in charge program we have for you today as we have made it to day three of Weed Week. Weed, 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 Weed. 
Return of Who Sucks last coming up, the What You Don't Need to Know edition of uh, Obscure Rules in Sports. Ted, I know you are a huge sports fan. Mm -hmm. Steve, Mm -hmm. you know a hell of a lot about sports. As a matter of fact, your brother is an NFL referee. So... I, official, I official, whatever they official. call it. Whatever they call it. I confuse it, man. But either way, uh, you know a lot about the rules of the sport just based on that alone. But these no, are rules. I don't. I don't. But he's my go-to. He is my yeah. go-to on a Sunday. Like, hey, man, mm-hmm. look, I'm watching this game. He's like, what's the situation? You explain it to him. And, and it's crazy because it'll be like one of these plays that happens once every 17 years in sure. the NFL. right? Mm-hmm. And you've never seen it before. And as you're pondering, like, what do you even call They've made the call, so I'll run the stuff by him, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that uh, last uh, happened in yeah. 1987. Yeah, That's yeah. the blah, 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 blah. Uh, here's one for you. I'll just give you a little idea. Uh, this is only in uh, this is only in NCAA hoops, basketball, all right? Uh, mm. Okay. If, uh, if I see that you brought a gym bag out, theoretically, all right, or maybe you have your warm-up coat, and I can look through there, and I can see either a pack of cigarettes or a tin of snuff. Mm-hmm. All right. What's the foul? 20 minutes before a game. Uh, if you see this within 20 minutes of a game. If I see it, if you bring it in. What's that? A technical foul, you get two foul shots before the game starts. The other team. That's a technical foul. You get two shots once the first stoppage of play begins. All right. So, yes. If I see. So, wait, if I, so, but if I'm a fan in the stands, all right. No, no, no. You're not, the, no, no, fan no, no. can't call No, no, not that. But I'm saying there's a stoppage of play, and then I see them lining up to take these shots. Correct. Are they going to explain to me? Because as a, as a fan, know. I'm saying well, I didn't in see In basketball, they're not mic'd up. So right. more than oh, likely, yeah. no. They're just going to say two. And they're gonna push the line. There's all kinds of weird stuff like that where you go like, man, I did not know you could do that. See, I would set up the other team. No questions asked. You can get a one point safety. There's all kinds of weird stuff out there that'll blow your mind. Okay. Up, as far as if you, uh, if NCAA you know. basketball too, like why don't we play four quarters? <laughs> right, just two halves. Right. In baseball, though, you're allowed to use tobacco, or at least you were. They might have changed that they, law. They probably changed it. They probably changed it in our lifetime, anyway. So uh, that's coming up with what you don't need to know. And today we're going to talk about uh, what you or someone was wearing, which is sometimes half of the story. And our question: I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. And we start with this one, and of course we go to Florida. A 54-year-old guy named Daryl Lee Campbell. Daryl Lee Campbell. He just sounds like he should be in trouble. He was pulled uh, pulled over in Port St. Lucie at about 3 a.m. on Thursday Wait, morning. Did you say Lucie? Is it Lucie or Lucie? Lucie or Lucie. I thought it was... I think it's Lucie, isn't Port it? Saint, Port St. Lucie? Isn't it an island, too, in the Caribbean? I thought, Robin, Saint you Lucia? live in Florida, right? Saint Lucia? Is it Port St. Lucie or There's Lucie? St. Lucia, which Lucia. I believe is Lucia. totally separate, but right. I think it's... Poor St. Lucie. Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You said Lucy. I right, said Lucy. Lucia. I want to say Lucy. No, that's Lucia. This is Lucy. Why well, no guy named Wait. Al Lucien? Lucian? Yep. Like no the relation island? to Susan Lucci. I think it's Port St. Lucie. Lucy. All right, whatever. So there's where Daryl Lee Certainly Campbell's no relation from. to a Grammy. He's driving at 3 a.m. What do you know about driving around 3 a.m.? Doesn't matter if you're drunk or not. You're going to get pulled over. A cop saw him swerving on the highway in his pickup truck. And when the cop pulled him over, he found that Daryl was only in his underwear. Which happened to be funny because the novelty boxers that he was wearing said, Drunk, free breathalyzer test, blow here. <laughs> With an arrow pointing then down at his junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's some uh, quality irony since it turned out that Daryl was driving drunk. Although he refused to take any sobriety test, he didn't really uh, have to take any breathalyzer test. Uh, the cops think he was probably out looking for prostitutes since they also found a penis ring, a bunch of condoms, and a pair of binoculars in the front seat. Oh. He is facing a misdemeanor DUI <laughs> charge. Is it that hard to find a prostitute? You need the binoculars? I think nah, he's, part- he's not looking for <laughs> a <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. Three blocks over. He might be looking in your window. That's what I mean. You're not looking for a prostitute with binoculars. Jesus. Dude puts on a penis ring and looks through your window. And, but, uh, and who puts... That's not how those work. Yeah, but, man, no. <laughs> uh, well, you have to be, you have to be in the action. I mean, you couldn't... Right, he was well, with him, right? He didn't ever have it on. No, no, you just had no, it with him. Okay, 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 so yeah. he was getting ready. That's like wearing a condom without, like, no chick there yet. I'm wearing one right now, Ted. <laughs> you can never be too prepared. That's right. He's waiting for a dude. <laughs> So it's completely different. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll stay in Florida. Two Florida men are accused of breaking into their ex-boyfriend's home and using ragu sauce to try to burn the place down. Not following. Derek Irving and John Silva were arrested after allegedly breaking into the home and stealing several items, including a flat-screen television, a window AC unit, and a vacuum cleaner. 
The victim called 911 after being alerted by security cameras of motion being detected in the home. He said a towel had been placed over one of the cameras. Arriving deputies saw a red SUV leaving the area. They conducted a stop. The two men inside the vehicle later identified as Irving and Silva said they were just picking up some clothes from their home. The victim said that uh, Irving was wearing a bull costume. The men initially denied the burglary, but when authorities went to the home, they found a burning pot of ragu sauce and a washcloth near the stove's burner, which appeared to be in an effort to start a fire. He was trying to make it look like I left the stove on, but who gets up at 2 a.m. and fixes Skeddy? Skeddy. Did he say Skeddy? S-K-E-T-T-I, according to the victim. <laughs> and if he was four years old, it'd be Pisketty. Right. Both were charged with unarmed burglary, grand theft, and arson. Silva is being uh, held on 25,000 bond, while Irving is being uh, held behind bars without, uh, without bond at all. So, all right. Just wearing, like a bull. He's wearing a bull costume. Why? I, Why I, I, would you do that? It does like, not say If that. you don't want to call attention to yourself, it just seems to me that dressing up like a bull would be the opposite of that. Like, if you're just walking down the street, I will pay no attention to. If you're walking down the street dressed like a bull, I'm, I'm going to remember you for the rest of the I day. If right? I'm walking down the street dressed as a bull. At I 2 a.m. I expect high fives to my hoofs, right. hugs. Something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm dressed as a bull. But you expect to be remembered. Yeah. This guy, I, there's something, it's like, he looks kind of like Deion Sanders, but I can't really put my finger on it. He does not look like Deion Sanders It's, at it's all. not Deion Sanders? Deion Sanders would beat your ass. If you showed Deion Sanders, no, oh, come on. Oh, look at this dude. Does that look a little bit like Deion? There's a lot of things wrong with that guy, man. I mean, yeah. who does he look? He looks like Deion Sanders in a cross between who? <laughs> a crackhead? Right. No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, maybe if Deion Sanders starts The other guy crack. looks like Elvis's brother or something. That's, uh, it's quite the crew there. Yeah. Uh, men's room blank question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. 844-999-OLA. Hello, William. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. How you guys doing? Doing great, man. How are you? Uh, fighting the traffic back home. You got to love it. Okay. So my story here, uh, I was driving to school one morning, and I would not have known what happened to me except for the fact that somebody pulled over to make sure I was okay. I'm driving along. And all of a sudden, my car goes airborne. And I'm thinking, with the impact, it felt like a bus or a semi-truck hit me from the back or something. Car lands. It starts sputtering like crazy. And I basically limp it over into a parking lot and get it parked. Uh, turn the keys off. And I just sm- start smelling like gas like crazy. So I end up uh, looking underneath. And I can just see this visible trail of fuel from where the car lands to where I left it in park. And the exhaust line just looks like if you took a straw and just tried to annihilate it with your bare hands. It was just completely trashed. All right. So uh, I couldn't figure it out except for somebody who was behind me. They pulled up and made sure I was okay. And uh, I just said, what happened? And they said, yeah, that uh, sewer uh, cover just popped you up into the air. Oh, damn. Yeah, what ended up happening was that the left tires ran over the left side of this manhole cover, and it wasn't bolted in or secured or whatever. So the weight of my car ended up popping it up into the center, but it can't go down the hole the way it's designed. So my car had to go up. It was a lighter car, and it went airborne. Okay. I got you. Damn. I I would not have believed it except for the fact that later on a van, which is much larger than my car, ran over the same manhole cover. I heard the exact same boom. Uh, They didn't go airborne because they were larger, but the manhole cover popped up and landed on the street, and those guys kept driving off. So uh, the, the witness kind of diverted traffic while I went to pick up the manhole cover and put it back in place so nobody would drive into an open hole. And the Ninja Turtles make it look easy. It's, it's a lot heavier than you think. <laughs> yeah, they're a pretty heavy <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, as I go to put it in there, my finger actually got uh, wedged as the manhole cover was going in there, so it basically killed the nail, which ended up falling off, and it's on a couple of weeks later. That was fun. Okay. Uh, as far as the coincidental timing, it was the first time I ever got this shirt. All black, plain white text, and a uh, stick figure that looks like they're flying. And the shirt says, I do all my own stunts. Ah, <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Very good. Did anyone point that out to you, like the guy that tried to see if you're okay? Oh, uh, no. It was just like a soccer mom lady, super nice. So she didn't really notice the shirt so much as just the freakish situation. I didn't even think about it until I got home and saw it in the mirror. I went, oh, you've got to be kidding me. What the hell? You know what, man? I'm going to start wearing shirts to say, like, I won the lottery. 
right? You know yeah. what I mean? All these right. self-fulfilling prophecies. I, I, I cured cancer. Right. Men's own blank question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. Kate Gal Ford, Gadot loves me. 999 Ola, future millionaire. <laughs> right. I feel like people in drinking shirts getting Deweys is like the... The most popular one. But there's a good chance that at the moment you're wearing a drinking shirt, you plan on going drinking. Yeah. You know, you kind of set call. yourself up for it. Yeah. I only have one shirt. Like, I have a sriracha shirt, but I don't like sriracha. Wait, what was that? It's my stomach. That was oh, your that was stomach? Your was it a fart or was that your stomach? No, it's just adjusting. That was your stomach? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Like, my butt makes the same noise your stomach makes. I've had a couple bad incidents with cheese the last couple of days. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh no. oh, no, man. Yeah. The cheese. Oh, it's sorry, a blue dude. cheese snuck in a salad today. We're doing the blue week. cheese. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you accidentally had some blue cheese? Yeah. I thought you hated blue cheese. I do. That was the sound. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat blue cheese? I guess. My body's like, what's it doing in here? Wow. Anyhow, <laughs> that sriracha shirt I have, but I don't eat sriracha. Mm. <laughs> Anytime I see someone out in a Bill Murray shirt, they're drunk. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Well, right. I mean, that's not it, at work, but I mean, like, if they're out and I see them and they have a shirt on with Bill Murray, like a chive shirt, they're hammered. I but, never met someone who wasn't hammered. It wasn't I, wearing you don't a, a lot of chivers that are sober. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> well, that's a good point. kind of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Benzer and Black question. I'll never forget what happened because Blank was wearing blank. Hello, Hannah. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 How's it going, guys? Good, Hannah. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy week. Thank you. Oh, thank yes, you very much. Appreciate it. Weed week. <laughs> so mine is. Um, I'll never forget my mom showing up at my recess in a hooker outfit. Uh, <laughs> how old were you? <laughs> <laughs> I was in about. I was in like the fourth grade. And uh, was she in a hooker outfit for a costume party, or was she dressed for work? It was around Halloween time. All right. Okay. So, well, that's better than. Yeah. Well, wait, better how than close? The I mean, you got to be within like ten days of it, I think, to get away with it, right? Oh yeah. No, we. I definitely got called into the office and I got questioned a bit, but I was definitely traumatized. I mean, did did she do it on purpose to mess with you, or did she just oh, kind of yeah. not think about? It? Okay. So how oh, yeah. uh, how suggestive was it? <laughs> uh, short black dress. Tall blonde wig, smeared hot pink lipstick, the whole the whole bit. Ah, you know what? I'm, I, maybe we should <laughs> I like start. Your maybe we should start doing stripograms for uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> offices and stuff. I was like, say elementary. Because no one wants to see that. We'll just come in, man. You know what I mean? We'll get all oiled up uh -huh. and start taking off our clothes. Somebody wish somebody happy oh, birthday. Yeah. Get the hell out and get arrested. Oh, yeah. that would be great. Well, no, I mean, well, like if you're a singing telegram, you know what I mean? Like they're not going to arrest you. You can't just get oh, naked because no, somebody... you're a singing well, telegram. The thing, no, the thing is, no, like, no, they no, didn't no, get I mean, naked not, and she, not she's all the way. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Not all the way. I mean, we could wear like a banana. Hammock, you know what I mean? We would just go. No, in. he's right. You're going to get arrested. Gut hanging out. Well, now wait. Can I get arrested for a banana hammock? No. If that's you what walk I'm into an office and just strip down to a banana yeah, hammock, like this is well, like no, wait, wait, wait. Why not? I mean, what? If, and, and listen, I, know, I went. Marilyn Monroe came over to your house, and you didn't get her arrested. <laughs> well, no. Somebody hired her. But she didn't strip down either. We're not going to strip down. We're going to wear the banana hammock and just do our dance. No, the you reason why I asked bring a boombox in or something. I know. Now look, if if the company itself said, "Hey, man." Uh, we have a dress code here. You got to go. Say, so, hey, completely understood. I didn't see it posted anywhere. I didn't know I couldn't be in a banana hammock. But in theory, I can be in public in a banana hammock because I can go to uh, what do you call it, the beach. Yeah. Right? No one's going to be happy that that's what I'm wearing. But it's not illegal. So, like, it's, right? It's a public place. We'll but, just come and dance around the cubicle. If before the building management says this is against dress code, like in theory, right? I should still because I'm in public. I'm in a banana hammock. It's an office uh, banana gram. And like when they say, hey, you, you got to put on some pants, like, no worries. But it wouldn't be illegal, right? Well, I guess you're right. If I said, hey, you either need to leave or put on pants. At that point, that's right. funny. We could sing the banana boat song, you know, like <laughs> in the happy birthday song, get the hell out, make 50 bucks a hard way. Men's room blank question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. 844-999-OLA. Hello, Cheyenne. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 So, I can't believe what happened when a roommate slash relative of mine was, it was a guy that was actually into gardening, and it was early morning, and he discovered that uh, some deer were eating flowers that he planted. So, without thinking, with reckless abandon, he just started chasing a deer butt naked. Because it was eating his flowers. What kind of flowers were these? Were these flowers of the marijuana variety? 
No, they were actual like flowers, flowers. I can't remember what exactly what type they were, but yeah, I can't think of any flower that I would really care about more than just marijuana. I mean, unless like I spend a lot of time on tomato plants. It's not that man. It's just people. My mother at well, one of the houses she was at, she had the same pro right deer, mm-hmm. and it's just the idea that you have spent your time, whatever the hell flowers they were. I don't know, but like you've taken the time to do whatever the hell it is you did, then the deer come up and f it up. And right. she would lose her freaking mind. But the different, according to my mother, anyway. And listen, when I was growing up, I was viewed my mother as being reasonably scary. But that's mostly because I was in trouble a lot. Mm-hmm. But she swears at this one house. She's like these deer, really like four of them. They're they're eating her garden. And keep in mind, when my mother tells you these stories, she's not just telling you; she's reliving it. So it gets very intense. Okay, so she's going on about these deer, and it's it's uncomfortable. But she swears she would open the door, run outside, start screaming at these things. And she uses very colorful language, but essentially these inseminators of mothers would just look up at her but not be scared of her at all. Just stand there? Yeah, it started freaking her out. So now she's like, I'm scared to run out and say anything to the deer because the deer look at me like, bring it, bitch. So she doesn't know what to do. But again, there's there's no valuable flowers. Mm-hmm. It's just the idea that she planted them. And so when deer eat them, that is worth losing your mind over. Men's Room Black question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. 844-999. Ola, more your calls coming up. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. Welcome back to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Georgia police have identified the man who burglarized a GameStop store while wearing the world's worst disguise, the plastic wrapping used to package water bottles. Think about a 12-pack of water. Yeah. Think about the cardboard underneath it. Think about the clear plastic plastic that surrounds the whole thing. And then think about him wearing that as a hat. There's so many things. I'm just thinking, like, if you feel the need to rob a place and you know you want to hide your face, like Mm -hmm. a paper bag, like... And if you taped your face with Scott, so like anything's better than something that's see through. Cops report that Kerry Hammond Jr. is wanted in connection with the burglary of the video game store in uh, Georgia. Investigators allege the 22 year old Hammond sought to hide his identity by wearing the plastic wrapping around his head, but Hammond, who is also 6'1 and 275 pounds, did a poor job obscuring his face as seen in the video surveillance stills. So, yes, you see his face. And yeah, a very plastic. distinct <laughs> tattoo on Hammond's right forearm can also be seen in the GameStop security video. Hammond, last spotted driving a white 2006 Taurus, has two other active felony warrants, blah, blah, blah. He has been dubbed <laughs> Big Dasani, uh, <laughs> is seen in the shots Big prior to the arrest. You can help us catch him once you stop laughing, according to <laughs> authorities. Our men's room blank question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. 844 ola Hello, Amy. Welcome to the men's room. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello, Amy. Hola. So what so, do you remember? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. We can hear we you. got you, Amy. Okay. So um, I will never forget the way I reacted when I was working at a drive through restaurant in high school and a man came through wearing nothing. Just nothing? Nothing. What, what, did, he, he, uh, what did he order? Was he full husky? And, uh, he, he, well, so this was in Arizona, and he, he ordered an iced tea. Did he order any That's onion it. rings? No. Okay. Was Taco Bell. So, All right. Nope, just an, ice, just an iced tea. And was he <laughs> erect or was he just naked? I... I think he was, he was just naked, but I was so horrified because I was 16, and I think it was the first adult penis I'd seen, and I... That's not, that's not, that's, that's not Amy. how you should have this your is, introduction. Right, this is not... That's not, not how it should be you done. Not, you, you should not see your first penis at Taco uh, Bell. You know, I honestly no. feel bad for you, man. You know no, what I mean? Like, he was in the car. Well, and I wish that I had, like, tripped and dumped the tea on him. Was it hot tea? That would have been fun. No, it was iced tea. Mm-hmm. Have you guys started serving the chalupa yet? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Man, oh, uh, man. Was, he a, uh, see, was he a regular customer, or was it just a one-time and that was it? it? I think it wasn't anybody I recognized, so probably just a one-time guy. But, yeah, he I just would, came through, ordered his iced tea, and, and how, was. how old was this guy, if you had to guess? Mm-hmm. Probably mid-30s. Oh, so he wasn't uh, that old. Well, I mean, his old compared to you, like an younger. old guy. So, but, yeah. I would no, guess if you worked no. in a fast food window, you've probably seen a lot of stuff, mm. one way or another. Yeah. Uh, not yeah, a, that, not a, that, that's that's very unfortunate. Uh, and so did they ever catch yeah. this guy? Did, did, I don't know. I, I told my manager, and she was like, why did you call the police? And I couldn't even function. I was so 
I just sat down on the floor and laughed. When was the, oh, ne- okay, right. when, when was the <laughs> next time you saw a real penis? Um, well, <laughs> probably the next day. <laughs> the next day? <laughs> Wait a minute, Amy. How did you see one? Did, did he come back? Okay. You we saw the to, first time. How did, how, did that correla- how did that correlate that no, you saw one no. for the first time and then you saw like another one? Like it rains and pours? Right, well, it was a- that, that was an adult penis. So, um, I, <laughs> yeah. You were anyway. dating at the time, I guess? Yes. Okay. Ah, so you've okay. seen a lot of teenage penis. You've seen her, you know, age bracket All right, penis. Right. Okay. Age bracket penis. Exactly. I see. Exactly. Okay. All yeah. Right. Huh. Okay. All right. Very good. A lot. Yeah. A lot. It was a, the man when rain supports you, right? The pe- the penis years. Yeah. The- <laughs> Men's room blank question. I'll never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. Why do you think anyone drives through a drive through naked? I, I like I, I've heard I the would- baristas. I get it. Like, look, you're wearing a bikini. The guys show up erect. It's understood. But I'm saying, when you're going through this fast food place, right? There's mm-hmm. nothing sexual. There's no innuendo. It's like, look, we got. We sell hamburgers. It Wait, stinks, you smell enough fart? Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. Sorry, Do we have the stinks, stuff, man? I mean, oh, yeah, Rob, give me a little spray. It's bad, there you man. Go. Just make sure we don't... Oh, all right. Let's grab it. Here we go. Golly, man. Maybe the Alfredo last night. Yeah, Alfredo? Yeah. You ate Alfredo? I didn't think about golly. it until I went to bed. See, the and thing I'm is, like, man, oh, that heavy cream. Honestly, God, we, can't, we can't open up the, the studio doors because our uh, coworkers have such foul mouths that they cuss. So we have to, mainly our bosses, we have to close the damn doors. Yeah, we're by the kitchen. Like, people are right chatting. There. You understand this is a lot of what brings me the sheer amusement of doing this. No, it doesn't. That it's door just, stay. Uh, it's like locking a door from the outside, you know? Yeah. yeah better Good than, times. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good time. Sorry, man. It's going to be bad all day, and I'm just letting you yeah. know now. Men's room blank question. I'll uh, never forget what happened because blank was wearing blank. Did you go out for the Alfredo? No, 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 man. Oh, you uh, decided to just make is, it at home. It was uh, made at home, and it was uh, it was creamy. It was I, delicious. Now, I, I don't give it any thought. And then about 11 o'clock last night, I'm like, man, oh, man. Do you sleep in separate bedrooms? My belly is hurting something. No, I uh, Do you get I kicked out of the room? Love. Do you nah. get kicked out? No, 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 man. You Does she leave? under the covers. You know, you do what you got to do. She's numb to it. But, I mean, yeah, yeah. it got hurts. She never goes like, hurt, oh, damn it. Hurts. She never cusses. Nothing. Well, nothing well obviously not, out. or she wouldn't have made him out afraid of. <laughs> got hurts. This is for the kids. You don't touch it. Good times. Good times. Hello, Corey. Welcome to the men's room. What's going on, you guys? Hola. Hola. Hey, so the blank about blank. I was in Fillmore, California with my buddy Matt. He is about six foot three. He's a big dude. You can't miss him. We're going about six miles into this canyon to hike, and there's a National Wildlife Preserve sign that says, you know, no trespassing. Well, hey, we Corey, Corey, hey, Corey, half- Corey, hold on for two yeah. seconds, man. We just got to do a quick station ID, and then we'll come back with the rest of it, okay? Maybe. We'll surprise them. Yeah, we'll see if they're still there on the back side. Hola! The shenanigans continue on the Men's Room Radio Network. <laughs> 